All right, sorry to remind you about this, but we do spring forward this weekend, so get ready for your internal clock to go haywire. We lose an hour, more specifically an hour of sleep, and that extra grogginess that follows could follow you on the road, causing an increase of crashes. Here to discuss is AAA insurance expert Skylar McKinley. Uh, interesting phenomena, mm -hmm. I, I guess, when the clocks spring forward, what kind of happens to us? So we know we lose an hour right off the bat, and that can make you drowsy. But even more than that, for a period of about two weeks we've done the research, we've got this added grogginess. Our internal mm -hmm. clocks are adjusting, and we're probably not getting enough sleep as it is. So directly in the wake of the switchover, we see really significant increases in drowsy driving. That's a major public health concern. I can tell you off the bat, 6,000 deaths on American roadways per year are caused by drowsy, dr drowsy driving, mm -hmm. 50,000 serious injuries. In Colorado alone, about 1,000 crashes. And a lot of that happens after the switchover, so it's really time to be vigilant. But really interesting because, you know, sun hits us at different times of the days. What can drivers do to stay safe? This starts with just getting enough sleep. We know that if you lose one to two hours, it doubles your crash risk. If you lose more than three, it's equivalent to driving drunk. Mm. You have to really commit to getting seven hours. Commit to getting more than that in this period as, as you adjust. But beyond that, look, it just comes to don't, don't eat a major meal before you're driving to reduce drowsy driving. Right. If you have any medications that you're on, double check that. And, and just tend to be a vigilant driver knowing that these risks are significant uh, as dangerous as driving drunk. Some people say to even adjust your sleep time by 15 minutes Each a day. night, mm -hmm. yeah, starting now even. All right, what else uh, do drivers need to know going into this time? You mentioned this. The other big thing is light. Our light patterns are changing. So in the morning, you need to be really looking out for pedestrians and other vehicles, keep those headlights on. And in the evening, know that kids are probably going to be out later, right? Mm -hmm. So kids are going to be on the roadways maybe at the same time you're getting off work. Always look for folks. And, and by the way, being a safe driver right now really will help lower all of our insurance rates. Just yeah. want to drive that home. Yeah, so that pay attention. Dusk time period is really hard to see yeah. uh, if there's kids out there yeah. as well. All right, Skylar McKinley, thanks, thanks for joining us.